Should this film be added to your holiday movie advent calendar? Let's find out. Hello Fanatics, I'm Dylan Phillips and this is the Film Fanatic Review bringing you the holiday calendar, starring Cat Graham, Quincy Brown, and Ethan Peck. First we'll tell you what the movie is about, and our initial thoughts. Then we'll move on to our spoiler free likes and dislikes. We'll finish up with some spoiler heavy thoughts on this film, and our final word. The Holiday Calendar follows the story of a struggling but talented photographer who inherits an antique holiday advent calendar that slowly predicts her future during the holiday season. Overall, this was an okay film. It follows the trend of bad TV movies made by Netflix, but it finds itself being somewhat entertaining despite its shortcomings. For what I liked about this film, let's start off with the concept. This film has a great original premise, as it centers around a magical advent calendar that foreshadows the protagonist's holiday. This in turn creates a great premise to center a holiday film around, making it the ideal atmosphere for this story. However, Beyond the actual premise, it fails to grab any of the holiday magic and becomes a prototypical romantic comedy. The cheesy writing is predictable and cliched with a lot of eye-rolling dialogue throughout its entire runtime. And the characters are boring, uninteresting, and one-dimensional. Even the protagonist's description of struggling is a bit of a reach. And that's where I'll end our spoiler-free thoughts on this film. If you want to hear our final word or rating of this film, pause now and click the link in the description, because now it's time for spoilers. No spoilers to talk about for this one, but the best scenes to me were any scene involving Abby and Gramps. So, with the thoughts heard, here's our final word. The Holiday Calendar is a predictable and plain family film that lacks anything holiday-centric beyond its premise. While the concept has some unique ideas, the cheesy story is flat and derivative, the acting is subpar, and the film lacks the emotional feel-good moment that a Christmas movie needs to be rewatchable, let alone memorable. This film may not have a great execution, but it checks off all the boxes for a Hallmark holiday film, making it an easy distraction for a snowy day. So I'm gonna give the holiday calendar a five. Thanks everyone for watching our review. Are you planning on seeing the holiday calendar? Or if you've already seen it, do you have something to add? What did you think of the story? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Dylan Phillips and this has been the Film Fanatic Review. If you liked this video and you want to see more, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Check out our latest Fanatic 5 video where we discuss the top Jennifer Lopez roles. Don't forget to follow us on our social media. And until next time, Fanatics, keep it real.